Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Zotac Z68 ITX Wi-Fi Supreme Intel Express chipset motherboard. And unlike other motherboards that we have looked at before, this is unique in that it is a very small form factor because it is an ITX motherboard. As you can see, it has a Lucid Virtue support and it supports the latest uh, second generation Intel Core i3, i5, and i7 Pentium processors, and you also get the Quick Sync technology and Intel Smart Response technology that comes with the Intel Express chipset. And what is unique about this uh, board, it actually comes with an onboard NVIDIA GeForce GT430 right on the motherboard itself. So uh, that is a very unique design there. And here in the side, just a uh, serial number. On the other side, you have a quick look on the uh, list of specifications you can have. Uh, but here at the back, you get a, a bit more detailed look on it. You got um, to save space, of course. They used uh, DDR3 SO, uh, SO DIMM slots instead of the full size DDR3 slot. Since you can see the uh, GT430 right on board, and you have dual DVI port. I'm guessing one is for the G from the GT430 and one is for the uh, Z68 display output. And you also have USB 3.0, USB 2.0, eSATA, dual Wi-Fi antennas. You have DVI to VGA adapter, that's included in the accessory. And uh, of course the LGA 1155 socket. And uh, right at the bottom, you see that there's an M SATA connector port right underneath. And uh, let's open up this box so we can see what the uh, Zotac Z68 ITX Wi-Fi Supreme looks like. And uh, let's start by flipping it up here from the top. And first, of course, we see the accessories. And uh, I already see something that I like is that it has these USB 3 headers, uh, USB 3 uh, ports in the back. And it connects to a USB 3 header on board and, and the board itself. So that is very neat. They included that. And this is the adapter that we're talking about for the display. You have a low profile converter for the USB 3 bracket. And these are the antennas, which uh, they actually bend. You need the space for the Wi-Fi in the back. And you have your SATA cables. And one is a darker orange. And three of them are lighter orange. Um, one is for SATA 2 and one is for SATA 3. And the IO shield in the back. It is labeled. And uh, there's even a clear CMOS here, but it's not punched out. Um, let's look later if the motherboard has that. But you uh, just put that aside for a bit. And uh, you've got the documentation. You have the Zoltac Z68 ITX Supreme motherboard user's manual. And let's see if it is multilingual. It is actually all English, so it's uh, fairly detailed. We're setting up your uh, um, G68 motherboard and here is let's check if uh, this one is a multilingual quick installation guide and you have your warranty uh, information card and it's list there depending on what continent you're in uh, the terms of warranty and here is a driver installation DVD and let's flip it underneath and try to look at the Zotac Z68 ITX Wi-Fi Supreme motherboard itself and make sure that there's nothing left inside the box. So put aside all the extra accessories. And here, see how it is inside an anti-static packaging. Now that we have the Zotac Z68 ITX 
motherboard out of the packaging you can clearly see how well designed this layout is and uh, there's actually two versions of the Zotac Z68 ITX motherboard traditionally this is uh, the design that uh, Zotac aims for is for the HCPC market but at this time they created two versions you have the Z68 ITXA which is more aimed at for the overclocker and the overclocking market who are looking for a mini ITX uh, form factor motherboard and this is the more traditional Z68 ITX uh, HTPC version but it doesn't mean of course that this doesn't overclock and as you can see there's actually uh, high quality components here some of them are surface mount because uh, you need to why is it designed in real estate in a uh, small form factor so you have to fit uh, many components in there but uh, you can see there are actually a four phase power design here the Z68 ITX A it uses an eight phase uh, power design but this is not bad this is actually a four phase power design and uh, there are there is actually a passive heatsink here uh, the MOSFETs and and uh, you have the of course the LG1155 socket in there and th this one actually uses a so dim DDR3 uh, dim slot instead of the traditional full size DDR3 desktop uh, modules and uh, that's of course to save space since there is a GT430 underneath that is part of the board but uh, let's go over each of the components one by one and uh, here starting at the top you can see the USB 3.0 header in there and uh, there's also a USB 3 at the back and a, so that that's a four total of four USB 3.0 ports via, uh, that is a via chipset and uh, there's four pin um, CPU power connector again this is the Z68 ITX-B or Z68 ITX Supreme motherboard the Z68 ITX-A has an 8 pin because that is designed for uh, overclocking and here uh, is a Metro AD 2 dual channel so dim DDR3 uh, slots and above them there is the 4 pin CPU fan connector and right directly underneath is another 4 pin fan connector and here you have a 24 pin power connector for your CPU uh, for from your power supply and here are there is here is another 4 pin um, fan uh, connector but this header is actually uh, used here on this large heatsink and uh, before we go through that what's underneath here is a USB 2.0 uh, header a front panel connector header although they're not color coded they're actually labeled so you don't that's very convenient I don't need to check the manual when installing you can just uh, look down there and see it and right above it directly is a four pin speaker header and here the yellow header is a COM header and here you have a pair of USB 3.0 uh, rather a pair of SATA 3 uh, and SATA 2 headers from the uh, Intel chipset and the Intel chipset is actually cooled by this heatsink right here and this heatsink not only cools the uh, Intel Southridge but also cools the GT430 chip right underneath so that's doing a, a dual job and also has a fan because it's actively cooled and Right underneath it is a PCIe X4 slot. As you can see, it is open-ended, but it's elect electrically only X4, PCIe X4. And here is a, here at the lower left-hand corner, this is a Realtek audio chip. And here, here is the front panel audio header. Here we have a, before we proceed to the back, you can see a, uh, you can see the wireless LAN the wires connect all the way to the antenna you can attach the back and the, uh, the CMOS battery and before we flipped uh, before we look at the uh, rear connectors I'm going to flip it to the back and show you that there's actually a M SATA port here see uh, and before we finish it up let's look at the connectors at the rear of course you have the audio connectors and one of them is actually an SPDIF audio connector 
yes, uh, the USB 3.0 header. So that's, uh, as I mentioned, total of four, since uh, there's a mid-board connector, and here two more in the rear, and you have a gigabit LAN port, a pair of uh, nipples in there. You can attach these uh, wireless LAN antenna, and they include an accessory, and you have the CMOS reset button. You have an eSATA port, a pair of USB 2.0 ports, and finally the uh, display connectors. Now since there is a GT430 uh, chip in there and also you have the graphics from Intel you have to uh, figure out which one is which. Now uh, the GT430 uses the DVI port at the top and the display port while the HDMI at the bottom and the DVI port at the bottom use the Intel chipset. So, what we should do is put in our uh, i7 processor in there and a pair of sodium slots like these. Uh, make sure that when you get a sodium, uh, uh, rather we put in a sodium memory module, make sure that it is compatible and it is in the QVL uh, list. Because uh, what happens is there are actually uh, plenty of versions. Uh, plenty of RAM out there and some are only compatible with a specific laptop brand and uh, make sure uh, for example this is the Kingston KVR 1333D3S9 and it is in the list but there is actually a Kingston KVR 1333D38S9 which is not in the compatibility compatibility list so uh, make sure that uh, the whatever RAM module you get is compatible with the Zotac ITX Z68 Supreme motherboard. So let's uh, put it in our test bench and fire up our benchmarks.